three inputs are a b and borrow in which is b in denotes the minimum subtrahend and the previous borrow respectively and the two outputs are the difference and the borrow okay let us see how the tooth table of this full subtractor is formed and before that we see the block diagram and the gate diagram of the full subtractor here the full subtractor has three inputs and two output a and b are the subtrahend and the minimum and b in is the borrow from the previous bit so since it processes three inputs it's a full subtractor and the outputs are d and b out d is the difference and b is the borrow okay let us see the, now this is a gate diagram of the full subtractor there are two xor gate which helps to subtract the three numbers okay so initially a and b 